Hey guys, so I just wanted to share how I came up with my diet plan when I started uh, working towards a bikini competition and how I, you know, used it to change my physique and work towards my goals. Um, and so I'll try and give you the tools that you could use to start your own diet plan and plug in your numbers and work towards your goals even if they're different than mine. That's my goal, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> um, so what I did to start out, you're gonna need your BMR, and that's your basal uh, metabolic rate. It's the amount of calories that your body needs to maintain the weight that you're at at complete rest. So as you might already guess, you're gonna need to factor in your activity level. Um, so your BMR, what I did was I used the Harris-Benedict equation, which I'll post right here, and you put in your weight in pounds, your height in inches, and your age in years. You just plug it in there, and that will give you the number, your BMR. So how do you factor in your uh, activity level? So this is what I used, um, and I got it off the internet. I strong online, and I think this is where I found this information. So you take your BMR and you multiply it by the amount of days that you work out a week. So then once you uh, multiply your BMR by one of these numbers, your, um, your activity level, that will give you the amount of calories that you need to maintain your weight with everything that you do throughout the week. So um, I imagine you probably don't want to maintain your weight. I imagine either you want to gain weight, increase muscle, or you want to lose weight, um, lose fat. So then you need to adjust this number. Um, a lot of sites will tell you just plus 500 calories if you want to gain weight, subtract five calories if you want to lose weight. And this is true, you can do that, but I feel like um, since the fitness industry, especially bodybuilding, is uh, more geared toward males, um, I feel like that's on the higher end of things, and I feel like women are gonna gain muscle at a lower rate, um, just because of hormones and all the differences that we have there, so, um, but there's also metabolism that plays into this whole factor of gaining weight and, and losing fat, gaining muscle and losing fat. And so I like to say play around with 250 to 500 calories. Just take these numbers, work with them, watch your body, measure your thigh, measure your waist, measure your arm, uh, your glutes, your hip area. You want to be consistent when you weigh yourself and when you measure yourself, same time of, uh, time of day, all of that. Um, did you go to the bathroom before every time? So on and so forth. So now, if you want to lose weight, you do the same thing. You're going to, well, instead of adding 200 to 500 calories to, your, to that number that you came up with, you want to subtract 250 to 500 calories. Um, and if you under eat, you're probably going to lose weight, but what kind of weight are you losing? And this is what I try and be really careful about when I'm trying to cut because I'm trying to cut fat and I know that I'll lose some muscle mass in the process, but I want to minimize that amount of muscle mass that I'm losing. I'm really particular about what type of cardio I do. I try and do HIIT cardio, which maximizes fat burning. Um, or you know, or using weights, and so that I'm doing that kind, that type of, uh, you know, bodybuilding type works out at a faster pace, getting my heart rate up. So I'm hoping that I'm burning that fat. I work out fasted to optimize um, fat burning and muscle building. So there are things that you can do that have a good approach to both. Um, when I eat my carbs, I eat it around you know my workout period when I'm cutting. I eat after I eat most of my you know. Well, a good part of my carbs after I work out um, so that it can go up into my muscle and not just be used as excess for other things that I don't want them to be used for like adipose tissue um, so yeah but then you can play with that number are you losing too quickly are you not losing enough do you need to increase your cardio or reduce your cardio or you know all of those things um, so to gain weight, you increase your calories. To lose weight, you either increase your cardio or you reduce your calories. Most of the time it's both. Um, and I do recommend uh, using diet as a form of reducing fat um, for losing weight because otherwise you're just gonna be doing a crazy amount of cardio and it's just easier just to eat a little bit less. <laughs> so now what we're gonna come into is Okay, great, I have my calorie number. What the hell am I gonna do with that? 